Great stuff. So look, we, we've sort of we've talked about the channels. We talked about scripting and and uh, helping agents be more productive. Uh, now, what about the AI? So you know, AI now AI is really being used practically. Okay, and um, you know, Webio is providing it essentially out of the box. And I'm going to show you how you can use it to drive up your automation and to augment your client responses. Uh, sorry, your agent activity. To really get your automation up to the 78, 80 um, percent uh, level that you know is the average across our client base at the moment, but more importantly, done in a compliant, controlled way. So, firstly, why would you want to use AI in, in prep collections and payments? So, firstly, it can help the, uh, the communication be more personalised because you're now be the the, mod the models and the bots are more intuitive. It just means that you know the conversation is a bit more free flowing. So ultimately, um, helping up deal with up to 75% of the customer issues alongside that rule-based logic you build into the box. Um, and then you're also boosting customer engagement and contact rates. Now, if, you can, uh, you know, if you can deploy contact strategies um, and automate up to sort of 70, 80% of the, of the messages, you're going to do more with your existing resources. Uh, we've got some companies doing the same amount with up to 75% less agents. We've got other companies who are, have scaled their operations without having to keep adding more agents. So really, that's where uh, you know you can either save operational costs or just really drive uh, scalable operational efficiency. But more specifically, practically, what AI can you use in customer-facing interactions? Now, customer-facing interactions it needs to be compliant. Okay, so what you don't want to do is have a chat G GPT model generating random responses, but convincing responses that aren't compliant and approved. So this is why the models um, where we are using, I mean, we have a range of models, but the ones used for customer facing interactions are uh, custom language models to number one, be able to identify customers uh, in one message. So the entity extraction models will be able to pick out their identity information. They give you such as postcode, date of birth, ID in any format, match it against your system of record or file and move them through IDNV in one message. Um, the, the second layer is uh, qualifying intent, so natural language uh, intent gathering. Uh, 